Hey y'all, I just want to go over some of the lures that I make sure I start that over. Hey y'all, I was cleaning out the tackle box, I was looking over some of the lures, and I was thinking about giving y'all a video, a list, kind of what lures I take with me when I go saltwater inshore fishing. Most of y'all know watching my channel, me and the boys were more of a bass fisherman. Uh, we like catching bass and um, pickerel, bowfin, and crappy white perch, yellow perch. Um, always using lures, always trying to trick the fish into biting. And my knowledge uh, from way back saltwater fishing is using a bottom rig, two hooks, and some type of bait, usually blood worms or squid. So to me, just watching the end of your pole twitch every now and again and trying to catch a fish, uh, kind of boring. And then when you do catch a fish, you're reeling it in and you're fighting a three ounce weight. And most of the time you don't even know if you have a fish. Well, that wasn't my style. So we, we got into uh, bass fishing more. So my buddy Reed at Seven Cities Fishing, he said he'd take me, uh, I'd take him freshwater fishing and then he'd show me how to do some uh, saltwater fishing with lures. So these are some of the lures I learned from him. Plus I also watched uh, Jeff at One Fish, Two Fish, and I've learned a lot of lures from watching his channel too. So I want to give you all just a quick rundown of some of the simple lures that we use inshore freshwater fishing. Now everybody that does saltwater fishing knows these two jig heads are probably the number one lure to take out fishing. Um, you can you can use a little bit higher uh, quality jig head like these uh, trout eyes. They got a little more stout of a hook, um, but you can base what you're fishing with uh, your weight how heavy your weights are, eighth ounce, quarter ounce, three sixteenths. Some of that's dependent on how deep you're fishing, uh, how much current there is, uh, or how windy it is. If it's too windy, you can't feel the bottom, you can't feel your lure, you're gonna need a little bit more uh, weight to it. You can use different trailers on the jig heads. Um, the, the simplest, cheapest way to do this is this HR Tackle sold at Walmart for three dollars and 29 cent. It comes with um, 15 tails. White is a very common uh, one, common color, but it comes with two redhead jigs and one white jig and either one of them works. Um, you can spend a lot of money and go to the gulp shrimp, put them on your trailers. These are very good for puppy drum and, and flounder. Um, they're a little bit more durable than your cheap HR tackle. Uh, your little fish will grab the tail and they'll rip the tails off of these things. Uh, they'll tear them up pretty easy. So, but this action is really, everything will eat these. Trout, flounder, puppy drum, striper, and bluefish. You can catch any of them on it. Uh, somewhere in the middle is the one I like the best is these Z-Man lures. These things, there's about five or six in a pack, six pack of them. And these things are super strong. You got Elastec is what they're made out of. And now your fish like the bluefish and the, and the uh, flounder got teeth, they can still bite into these things but your little tail biters they don't rip these things apart and then you have to determine what color you like uh, a lot of people like the, uh, the chartreuse color a uh, big money getter is the new penny color a lot of people like that one my favorite is one of my subscribers Jeff came up and gave me one he said you got to try these uh, this is the pearl blue glimmer I love this thing. It catches all the fish and and they bite it regularly. Um, we've caught everything on it. Um, if you have uh, your soft plastics, you can tip them with some of your Pro Cure. 
just put a little bit of flavor on the back end of your on your soft plastics and it'll help you get some um, get some extra bites on that um, with your simple cheap version if you need some extra color you can do something like the JJ's magic just uh, open this up it's got a nice salty smell but you can garlicky smell I'm sorry but you can tip the, the tail in there and you can turn that thing into a different color lure you can just do the tail and that attracts a lot of fish doing that the next lure that I want to talk about real quick is the mirror lure mirror lures they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes nowadays this is one of the old style original kinds and then they got the, the bigger versions like this the three hooks and then they got the the mirrodine type lures and these things the trout just love them I'm pretty sure you can catch some uh, puppy drum and some other fish on them and maybe even the bluefish and the striper but I know the trout absolutely love these baits one lure that we have started using is basically like these jig heads uh, but the smaller version is crappy jigs oh man Caleb my youngest son he took some of these out with him when we were fishing one time he had one tied on from going freshwater fishing and he threw it out there and he caught a trout and we started using these things I was using the green ones and catching big old puppy drum flounder bluefish uh, and tons of trout tons of trout so we had a good time using them these will work um, another lure if the bite is really hot and heavy it is hard to beat this jerk bait right here This is a Shadow Wrap Deep 11 Slow Sinking in the clown color. The fish absolutely will tear this thing up. I've caught a flounder on that, believe it or not. Um, I've caught big old striper, caught uh, plenty of uh, caught plenty of trout on that thing. We had one video where we caught so many fish on one trip I had to make uh, four four videos out of one trip so and of course you can always scale it down and use some of the smaller jerk baits and they'll do the same thing but those are the four baits I always want to have tied on when we're fishing for inshore fishing now there's times when a topwater bite is going to be killer Like the bluefish are busting up on top water. A nice pencil bait, some type of pop bar, or a walking bait, like a spook. So if y'all are looking to get into saltwater fishing inshore, these are some of the simple baits to go out there and tear them up.